to be the the uh, coordinator of Sower LA. Now I'm just a sister. Um, and welcome, uh, welcome to another encounter night with our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we have an amazing night plan, like we always do, especially today that we ha we're, we have a special guest. Um, obviously, he's always with us everywhere we go. But today, you know, it's um, a, a special night. You know, it's more more special, especially as he um, is present with us through the Blessed Sacrament. Um, but before we go ahead and get started with our with with um, the night, we are gonna start with Divine Mercy Chaplet, which Sister um, Deborah is gonna help us lead with that. So if you have any personal intentions or anything, I believe we're live, right? We are live? Oh, so we're not live yet, okay. I was going to ask uh, those who, who are just watching us to write your, your prayers, intentions down below in, in our page, and um, best believe we're going to be praying with you. Um, and for those who are here present tonight, we're uniting in your personal intentions that you make hell in your hearts, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and, and start. Sister Deborah Lynn. Okay, brothers and sisters, let us place ourselves in the presence of our Lord and our Blessed Mother Mary, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, eternal truth, our life, I call upon you and beg your mercy for poor sinners. O sweetest heart of my Lord, full of pity and unfathomable mercy, I plead with you for poor sinners. O most sacred heart, fount of mercy, which gush forth rays of inconceivable graces upon the entire human race. I beg of you, light for poor sinners. O Jesus, be mindful of your own bitter passion and do not permit the loss of souls redeemed at so dear a price of your most precious blood. O Jesus, when I consider the great price of your blood, I rejoice at its immensity for one drop alone would have been enough for the salvation of all sinners. Although sin is in abyss of wickedness and ingratitude, the price paid for us can never be equaled. Therefore, let every soul trust in the passion of the Lord and place its hope in his mercy. God will not deny his mercy to anyone. Heaven and earth may change, but God's mercy will never be exhausted. Oh, what immense joy burns in my heart when I contemplate your incomprehensible goodness. Oh, Jesus, I desire to bring all sinners to your feet, that they may glorify your mercy throughout endless ages. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Therese of Lisieux, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Monica, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. May all of the Lord's angels and saints pray for us. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Sister Deverlyn, for leading us in a beautiful in the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Um, like I always say, it's my favorite prayer. Uh, it's short, it's easy, and we're all praying for one another. Um, and let us continue to pray and ask our Lord for um, our personal intentions, for your intentions, and for the whole world's intentions. And if you, you know, like I said, um, my brothers and my sisters are, are live. Continue to put your prayer intentions. We're going to go ahead and continue to, to pray for you, especially tonight as our Blessed Sacrament uh, will be joining us later tonight, and, and Deacon Doug will be giving us a, a, a beautiful talk um, so before we go ahead and get started, we are actually going to call on Sister Jessica. Sister Jessica, where are you? All right, um, she is our music leader, <laughs> and it's okay. It's okay. No, 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 no. Um, no need to rush. I know she's getting here from work and and getting ready for, for tonight. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and continue praying. Um, I, who knows how many times do we pray when we do praise and worship? Or when we like sing? That's right, why? So technically we'll be, we're gonna be uh, you know, praying three times and then I think it's just a night of prayer, you know? Um, I, I know, unfortunately, I couldn't come the, the previous weeks, but today I was like, I am not going to miss today. <laughs> today is my favorite night. Every, um, every third, no, every fourth Thursday of, um, of the month, we have the Blessed Sacrament. So to me, it's my favorite night um, to come and experience and, and, and know to visit our Lord Jesus Christ. So um, I do invite you, those who are watching us, that if, if you ever have the opportunity to join us live on a Thursday, on the fourth Thursday of the night, um, to come and, and join us. It's a beautiful experience. Um, and I do see new faces that I haven't seen. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have been here in the previous weeks, um, but I want to say hi to you guys. Once again, my name is Daniela. I'm your sister here to serve, serve you and serve everyone else, um, and especially the Lord. There you go, Sister Jessica. We're, we're ready for some praise and worship. Yeah, amen, amen. <laughs> God is good, and all the time, amen. Once again, God is good, and all the time, amen. All right, sister, 
Take it away. Are you ready? I can continue talking. I can continue talking. It's okay, sis. <laughs> Don't give me your mic because I'll, 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 I'll continue talking the whole night. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, glory to God. Uh, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. All right, all right. Sorry for the delay. Everybody on your feet. Let's get on our feet. And, you know, we're in the sanctuary today, so we're going to keep it soft and we're going to keep it even keel today. But we're going to really remember that we're in the presence of our real, the true presence of our Lord. Whenever you see the tabernacle in a church, he is there, right? Especially when you see that red light or that candle lit, ahí está, there is Jesus. So we want to sing songs to Jesus. Or oh, maybe you want to turn her mic on. Amen, amen. So I, I was asked to maybe bring y'all in into this maybe worship aspect of what tonight is, right? And so... I want to start off with singing, uh, Lord, I Need You. And I know a lot of you already know this song. So I hope that you guys can accompany me in singing this song. This is on. Hello. So when we sing songs, we pray twice, right? Mm -hmm. And so when we sing the words in the song, we got to think about what we're praying about, right? Mm -hmm. And so this song is called, Lord, I Need You. And it's not just because it sounds good that we sing the song. It's because we inherently, as human beings, know that we need God. And sometimes we can say it in just words in a prayer, but then when you put song to it and you put, you close your eyes and you open your heart to God, it's like through the song, God starts to speak to you. And all the questions you probably had in throughout your day or throughout the past few days, he starts to answer. And so we want to sing this song together as a, as a group asking God and telling him that we need him. And we need him for a reason, right? We need him because we're feeling some kind of way. We need answers. Or sometimes we just need him because he just makes us feel really good inside. Right? Amen. Lord, I come. I confess.
close our eyes in this moment even those that are watching just take a moment just close your eyes think about all the things that you need from the Lord and that you actually get every day the breath that you breathe when you wake up in the morning and when you go to sleep at night oh how much we need him in our lives we're so defenseless without him and sometimes we just we just need him. Lord, I come. I confess. Bowing here, I find my rest. Without you, I fall. You're the one that guides my heart. Guide my heart, Lord. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Jesus, we need you tonight, and we wait for you to come to us. In the form of your Eucharist, we know that you are alive here with us in the midst of us. Walk amongst us in this place, and blow your Holy Spirit onto us, so that we may hear your word, and we may feel your spirit. Glory to you, God. God is good. All the God time. is good all, the, all time. the time. So when we ask God to come to us, he does something, right? He goes into action. Because whatever you ask, he will come and give you what it is that you're asking, as long as it's in his will. And so sometimes we want the spirit to flow. And so I want, I want all of us to want that tonight. I want that river of fire, river of spirit flowing through this place. And we're going to ask God to, to do that for us tonight. And I want you to get into that spirit right now and ask the Holy Spirit to come to this place and come into your heart. And if you have trouble feeling his presence, just know that he is going to be in the midst of us tonight. He is going to be here. He is already here, but in a different way, he is going to come and bestow his grace on us tonight. So this is a new song that we're presenting to the group tonight. It's called Mighty River. And I hope that all of you can learn the words with me tonight. Take it home with you. Take a moment. 
If you want to open your arms out to Jesus on the altar, take advantage of this time. We're here once a week, but sometimes we can't even come. So open your arms wide to Jesus as he opens his arms wide to you. There's a mighty river flowing. There's a mighty river flowing in this place. There's a mighty river flowing. There's a mighty river flowing in this place. One more time, there's a mighty river flowing. There's a mighty river flowing, there's a mighty river flowing in this place. Mighty river flowing. There's a mighty river flowing, there's a mighty river flowing in this place. It's full of grace, full of passion. And it's full of passion, full of power, full of glory. It's full of grace. One more time. It's full of grace. There's a mighty river flowing. There's a mighty river flowing. There's a mighty river flowing in this place. Oh Lord. There's a mighty river flowing. There's a mighty Sometimes the Lord just comes in silence. And as we wait for Him, He comes in silence too.
Down in adoration There we go. Now you can hear me. Now you can hear me, right? All right. So I'm going to say praise the Lord, and you say praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. 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 
I'm going to say hallelujah. You say hallelujah again. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now a little louder. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on in. Just come in shouting hallelujah. 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 Hey, I just got off the airplane. You know what happens when you get off the airplane? You know, you still feel that air pressure in your ears and you can't hear so well. I just came back from Philadelphia, five hours in the air. I can't hear so well. Help me out. I'm going to shout hallelujah. I want you to shout me back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The name, what I, what, I do, what I want to do tonight is I want, here's my goal. My goal tonight, our goal, our vision, I want to cast a little bit of vision first. I want to cast a vision. The vision for tonight, brothers and sisters, is for us to get a felt knowledge. A felt knowledge of the power of the Blessed Sacrament. And please, 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 please raise your hand and go like this and say, you're making my head blow up. You're spinning me around. You're saying words I never heard of before. Please stop now and explain what you just said, all right? Please, all right. What happens a lot of times, brothers and sisters, is we use terms in the Catholic Church that we just assume, right? We just assume that since you're Catholic and you maybe you grew up Catholic or you've been coming to the Catholic Church, you know what we mean or you know what's happening or you know what's, what's happening on the altar right now. Okay. So maybe I should take a quick hand survey. Please uh, raise your hand if you're Catholic. Is, who's, who's Catholic in here? Raise your hand if you're Catholic. I want to see who's, who's Catholic. Is there, is there, almost, <laughs> I know you're Catholic. Okay, every, okay, so good, good. So I'm talking to some Catholic folk. I'm talking to some people who are Catholic. Okay, you're Catholic. You say, you say you're Catholic. All right? Now, I want to know if, see, there's a, there are some people who go to Mass on Sunday, and they can, they, I look, I, I consider them like the, the frozen chosen. You know, they, they come to church, and they, they, they probably have their same pew they sit in. You know, I don't know if you know, some of those pews have, actually have names on them over there. You know, some people think that that's their pew. They, they paid for it at the fundraiser. And that's where they're going to sit, and that's all they have to do to go to heaven, just sit in that pew. And then... There are people who come to sower nights. There are people who come on Thursday night when they had a busy, long day. There are people who come to sower LA, right, on Jefferson and Arlington in the heart of Los Angeles who live in Moreno Valley, who live in, where do you live? In, where do you live, uh, Chris? Glendale, who live in Long Beach, who live in Santa Monica. Where do you live, uh, Irma? What? Northridge. Now, these, now what I, when I, when, who, this is what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about, obviously, you all are not the frozen chosen Catholics. Obvi now, this is how I categorize you. I, and, 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 don't forget. Stop me, just because I have an alb on and a stole and uh, I've been ordained for 16 years and I have a master's degree. And th that doesn't mean anything. You can stop me and say, so deacon. That's what, the, that's what the middle schoolers do. Deacon. What does that really mean? Go ahead and tell me that. So, you came here. That means to me, you're telling me something. You're telling me something. If you came here tonight, you're telling me that you are a believer. 
First, you, know, you just raised your hand and you said you're Catholic. Oh, that's good. That's good. Now, I want you to raise your hand if you, just, if you agree with me on that. You are a Catholic believer. If you are, are you a believer? Raise your hand. Are you a believer? Are you a believer? Okay. I see. I see. It looks like almost. It looks like everybody's hands up. You can. And if you're really a believer, you can go like this. I'm a believer. I'm really a believer. Okay. I, I'm not. The lights are out, so I can't see if you didn't raise your hand. Like you're really a believer. Okay. So I, now, now I'm gonna pause. I'm going to tell you a quick little story. It's going to be a comparison story. I grew up in the, Mike, in the Jackson 5 era. Now, I think Michael Jackson is about the same age as, as I am. And as long as I can remember, I was a true fan of the Jackson 5, right? And I can remember, this is, I can't remember, I don't know how many years ago this was, but, but, um, you know, of course, Michael Jackson broke away from Jackson 5, and he was doing his own thing, um, you know, making millions, traveling around, packing out all these arenas. He was, the, he was like the king, of, king of, uh, of pop, right? And uh, they announced in the news that Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5 are getting back together for their final farewell tour. And I told, man, it's my wife as well. She was a, 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 a Jackson 5 fan. As well, we're true fans of the Jackson Five, and we said they're coming to the Dodgers Stadium. We're so excited that they're coming to the Dodgers Stadium. Jackson Five, this is our last chance, our last chance to to see Michael Jackson in the Jackson Five. So we had to get the tickets, and they were expensive. But we said, we are going to get to see Michael Jackson. We're going we're gonna to do our best to get the best seats, no matter what it takes. And we did. We got some good seats right there in the Dodgers Stadium, the last chance to see Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5. I don't know if you've ever seen a concert like on YouTube of Michael Jackson, but they would rush. They would rush the stage. Some girls would get so excited about seeing or touching or being in his presence, they would pass out. Anybody ever seen those concerts on social media? Y'all know, you don't know, you know what I'm talking about? Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5? But that's what happened that day. People were just pressing in. People were pressing in, trying to get close to the stage well, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Dodger Stadium to see Michael Jackson. See Michael Jackson and Jackson 5. I want to compare that to this. I want to remind you Catholic believers where you are tonight. Where you are right now. I don't know what you did when you came in, but, but we do have holy water in the entrance. And I remember when I went to sit, when I was in Philadelphia this past week, we went to one of those big, big, uh, big buildings, those fancy hotels. And don't, you know, you ever go to a hotel where they have those like rotating doors where you have only one person can come in at a time? Well, I kind of like that's kind of like what we need at the church, right? Because we come in, and sometimes we forget. We just rush in. We forget where we're going. We're for, we forget. Where we are, we just sometimes people want to rush in to see Jesse because they're happy to see Jesse because they saw him at, at the hip hop and tacos. Hey, Jesse, what a great performance! I'm glad that some of you guys are being well known and stuff like that, but we're not here to see somebody, we're, we're here to see who Jesus, Jesus. So we come in one at a time. We take the holy water, the water that's blessed by God, the water which is, which, which, which has the, the grace of God. And you are welcome to use all you want 
but some of us just walk past it. And then we, 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 we come into the presence of, of Jesus. Now, I want you to remember that you are in the presence of, it's not a pretty metal thing with a piece of bread inside. That's not what that is. That is a monstrance, and a monstrance is the displayer. The, thing, the, the instrument that displays puts Jesus on display. That is Jesus himself, body, soul, and divinity. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Everything you need is here. If you really believed, if you really believed and if you really understood, if you, are, if you really believed in your believer, right here, your believer, if you really believed that Jesus was here, like, like we were so excited that Michael Jackson was here. If you really believed that Jesus was here. Now let me tell you, I wanna say one more thing about this, believing. And if you knew before you came here, and when you were on the freeway, right, when you were getting ready to come here tonight, if you knew that Jesus would be here, if you knew that Jesus was going to be here, the real Jesus, right? The real Jesus. The, the one, and I want to remind you that Jesus is the second person in the Blessed Trinity, and the Blessed Trinity is the creator of the world. The creator of the world is here. Now I want to say something about that. Believing that Jesus is the second person of the Blessed Trinity, which is the creator and redeemer. Right? Listen to this. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing that Jesus cannot do. Amen? Amen. Don't forget, I can't hear too good. Just cut off the airplane. There's nothing that Jesus cannot do. Amen? Amen. So we come, if you really believe that, if you really believe that, and now we, I recognize that many of us, including me, come to our sore nights, where on one hand we come here with our, 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 our concerns, our issues, our, our prayer intentions. We come here with our, many, sometimes it's almost like having a, a backpack on our back filled with with burdens and issues that we're carrying around us. So we come like that. On the other hand, we come recognizing and knowing that Jesus, with Jesus, there's nothing impossible. And he is the creator. And when I say that, I want to really emphasize that he's the creator. When I say he's the creator, what, I, what, I, what I'm really saying is he can create something new in you today. Amen? Amen? Yes, he can do it. He can create something new in you today. He not only was he doing a creative, miraculous work in the beginning of time, but God continues to create a new in you today. So when I was at that Michael Jackson, Jackson 5 concert, I, and by the way, let me tell you what happened. So I got my seat that I paid for, and then my wife and I, we were looking around. We were looking around to see if somebody who had a better seat was closer to than us, if they didn't show up. If they didn't show up, we were looking at our clocks, our watches were saying, in five more minutes, I'm gonna, we're going to move in. We're going to move in even closer, even closer to be in the presence of Michael Jackson. So you come to church, Jesus, to be in the presence of Jesus. I want to remind you about some things that Jesus would never say. You come into the presence of Jesus. Jesus would never tell you that you're too far gone. He would never say that you're too far gone to be saved. You're too far gone to be healed. You're too far gone to be redeemed. No, you're here and he's here. Jesus would never say, I'm disappointed in you. He would never say that. Jesus would never say, 
this thing that you're in, you wouldn't be, it wouldn't be happening if you were a better Christian. You, Jesus would never say that. Jesus would never say, I've given up on you. No, he's calling you. He's calling you closer and closer and closer to his love. The power of his love can rescue you and save you and redeem you, give you a new life, give you everything. Uh, now, I, I, I just said everything. Now, I want to clarify that really quick. Some people, I'm not saying you, but some people... Uh, kind of like put limits on God. Some people say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I really, really would like. I really would like. Or, or whoa, whoa, whoa. I really need this to happen in my life. And then they, their, their big butt starts growing. <laughs> You know, y'all know what I mean. You know what I mean when I say your big butt starts growing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I really need God. I really need you to uh, make a way in my life to go on this pilgrimage to see Pope Francis. It's only two months from now, and it costs several, a few thousand dollars. I really need that. I really. It's gonna touch me. It's gonna change my life. But. But I don't have the money. If you got a butt in your life, brothers, if you have a butt in your life, if you have a butt, if there's an issue in your life, right, and you need God to do something in your life, I want you to just lift up your hands right now and say, but God, do it right now. If there is, if, think about this. If there is a real, if you have a real big need in your life, if there's something that you really need from God, if there's something that you need God to do in your life, if it might be a healing, it might be uh, an emotional healing, it might be financial, it might be a relationship, if you really need God to do something in your life and you don't know how it's going to happen, just lift up your hands right now. Lift up your hands right now. Lift them up. Lift them up. What you're lifting your hands up, what you're saying when you're lifting your hands up is, you're saying, I'm, I'm, I'm getting rid of my butt. I'm chopping off my butt, and I'm saying, but God can do it. Re just repeat that after me. But, I can't hear you. But, I'm, I'm hearing real good in my right ear. I need to hear more hearing in my left ear. But, God can do it. Amen. You can put your hands down. Amen. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, God will do his will for you in his life tonight. 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 He will do his will for you. I want to get back to this sacred space we're in. We'll get back. So we're at that concert, that Michael Jackson concert. We saw those better seats. We got up, we moved down, and we got better seats. So, the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist brings us together. Amen? Amen. Uh, I feel like I'm teaching, I need to break open a, an egg or something. The sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. It, and I, when I say the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist brings us together, really what I'm saying is, the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist there's something about Jesus. Jesus is in, Jesus is present in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. And, and he's welcoming all of us. And what he wants us to do, my brothers and sisters, what he wants us to do is just respond. Just respond to his welcome. Respond to his love. Respond to his invitation. And so what happens quite often is he's, 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 he's here. And God, by the way, God does speak to us. God speaks to you. Now, how do you, how do you hear God speak? How do you hear God speak? How do you, how do, you do it? 
So I, I'm just curious. I, I feel like I just need to ask this question. It's, it's almost like there's an elephant in the middle of the, of the church today. I, I'm just curious. Why, why do you choose the pew that you sit in? I'm just curious. I mean, that, that could be rhetorical. You don't have to answer that question. But you have something to think about. Why, when you come to church or when you come to a sore night or when you come to a mass, why do you choose the pew that you're sitting in. Why, why is that? In my mind, you see, in my mind, when I recognize the power of God, when I believe that God can do nothing, there's nothing impossible for God, when I know that God loves me, right? I'm just curious. You know, in, in my mind, my crazy, maybe I'm just crazy like that. In my crazy, radical mind, I'm just wondering why nobody's like sitting right, right here, sitting right here, up here. I'm just wondering why nobody's sitting right here right now. I'm just wondering why nobody's saying, Deacon, is it okay if I just sit right here? I mean, I'm just wondering why would anybody, why would anybody, if you're in, if you, if you, if you believe. Now, here's another thing that could be happening. Maybe you're full. Maybe you're full. Maybe you came to sore night all filled up. You know, you came to sore night and you're all blessed, blessed and highly favored. You're just so blessed, too blessed to be stressed. You know, you're just so blessed and good. You got it going on. Everything is good in your life. So if that's true, maybe it's okay. Maybe you can sit in the back in the corner in the dark and no need to sit close. But if you came to a sore time night recognizing that you need God, recognizing that there is an issue in your life that you need, you have a, have a, have a situation that needs to be handled tonight. It just makes logical sense. It just makes practical sense. It just, just makes sense, you know? To get close, to, to get close to the one that loves you more than you love yourself. To get close to the one that cares more about you than you'll ever care about yourself. To get close, to get close and don't worry about what anybody says. I'm just, I'm just saying, get close <laughs> or not. You can get close right now. Get close. You don't have to worry about the rules. You don't have to worry about protocol. You don't have to worry about what's expected. You don't have to worry about what happened last night or last month or last time. You don't have to wait till the altar call because see my brothers and sisters it's like this. The power of the blessed sacrament is in this church. And you can, some people, I'm not talking about, I'm saying some people, some people as soon, as soon as they come into the church, they start to feel, they start to feel the power of God. They start to feel the love of God. They start to feel this God that loves them as soon as they come into the Catholic church. And that's what's so special about the Catholic Church. That's what's special about it. What you did just now, my brothers and sisters, is you got under the, the grace of God. You got under the, the flow. You got into the flow of the Spirit. The Spirit is flowing in your life right now. Now, we, so we know there's some uh, ancient Hebrew words for God. The ancient Hebrew word, the word is Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh means, God, you are my provider. Now, I want to give you another response to say. If there's something that I say that you receive, if there's something I say that's true for you and you receive it, just shout, I receive. God, you are my provider. Do you receive? I receive. Yes. Then there's another ancient Hebrew word, Jehovah Nisi. God, you are Lord who reigns in victory.
God, you are the Lord who reigns in victory in my life. Do you receive? I receive. I receive. What that really means is, brothers and sisters, we, when we're going through battles, when we're going through challenges, when we're going through situations, we don't, we don't fight in a fair battle. Our battle is fixed because we already won. We, we come from a victorious place. God is victorious. Jehovah, our Lord who reigns, Jehovah Nisi. Listen to this one. Ancient Hebrew word, Jehovah Shalom, our Prince of Peace. Our God is a Jehovah Shalom, our Prince of Peace. Do you receive? The Prince of Peace is here. He's given you the peace that you need. The peace that passes all understanding. The, the peace that goes beyond everything you need. The peace that comes only from God. The world can't give it and the world can never take it away. He's full of mercy and love. Be merciful to us, O oh God. Fill us with your gifts. Make us eager to serve you. Increase our faith tonight. Level up our faith. Increase our hope and love. Holy Spirit, intercede. Intervene on, this, on our behalf right now. Your love is real. Your love is boundless. I expect to be blessed. Do you expect to be blessed tonight? Say, I receive. I receive. I need you guys to just increase your faith right now. Say, I expect, I expect to be blessed. To be blessed. I expect. I expect a miracle. A miracle. I expect. I expect God, God to show up. To show up in my life. In my life tonight. Tonight. In a real way. In a real way. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For choosing me. For choosing in me. In Jesus. In Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. There is power that comes from the covenant God promises. The covenant that is a relationship between us and God. Today we receive the strength to do God's will to build up the kingdom of God. So build up our faith, hope, and love today. Become, help us to become contagious, contagious with your love. See what happens, brothers and sisters, as you're gathered here at the altar, you're becoming contagious. As your faith increases, your love starts to spread from one another. And in a moment when we begin to pray, you get a sign to the power of God's gonna flow gonna flow from one another and it's gonna be it's gonna be like an outbreak an outbreak of the power of god that's what happens when we check our ego check ourselves and just let god be god in our lives mm, according to psalm 105 verse 4 we can say this we seek you lord mm. we seek you lord with all of our heart seek God always we seek his face our God gives us confidence in him our confidence becomes contagious we our God confidence becomes real there's become no shame in our game we let go of the shame we let go of the embarrassment and we enter into his power the sacrament of, is real to us God is real we become authentic tonight we become responsible tonight we become honest with ourselves tonight we become a real expression of the desire for a genuine relationship with God to come and touch us come Lord Jesus. a righteous God we, we allow God to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. Repeat this after me. Uh, humble me, God. 
Humble me. Humble me, God. Humble me. Under your mighty hand. Humble me, God. Humble me. Under your mighty hand. Just lift up your hands and say, I'm ready to be humbled, oh God. Under your mighty hand. Come, 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 Lord. Humble me. More of you and less of me, oh God. Oh God, I want to allow the truth to enter in my head and explode in my heart tonight, setting my soul on fire tonight, oh God. Set me on fire with the power of your word. Become more real to me than ever before. Give me a true metanoia tonight. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know what's going to happen in my life in the future. I don't know where I'll be tomorrow. So today, give me a metanoia. Metanoia is a life-changing encounter with Jesus. A life-changing encounter with the one who created me. And let that metanoia be a ripple effect. Let it continue to move in this place. Now repeat this after me, everybody. Whatever needs to be done. Whatever needs to be done. Whatever. Whatever needs. Needs to be done. To be done. Do it to me. Do it to me. Whatever needs to be done. Whatever needs to be done. Just do it in my life. Do it in my life. Love me, God. Love me, God. Give me ecstatic joy. Give me ecstatic joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Transform me. Transform me. Change me. Change me. Baptize me in your spirit. Baptize me in your spirit. Amen. Amen. And don't forget everybody the 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 this, the, this quote that we love so much from Saint Irenaeus. Saint Irenaeus says, "The glory of God is humanity fully alive. Fully alive." fully alive you matter your you like your life your issues your situation matters what you're going through matters amen in the sacrament Jesus wants to help you live life to the fullest Making an impact in your world, making an impact in our world, making an impact in our communities. Help us to shine our lights. Repeat that after me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Shine my light. Shine my light. On the world. On the world. According to Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Acts chapter 1, verse 8 says. Acts chapter 1, verse 8 says. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes. Power. Everybody say power. 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 When the Holy Spirit comes. When the Holy Spirit comes. And you comes. will be my witnesses. And you will be my witnesses. In Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. And throughout Judea. Throughout Judea. And the whole world. Power. Power. Power, the word for power, my brothers and sisters, is dunamis. Dunamis. Dunamis means dynamite. Dynamite destroys anything that comes between you and your future. You will receive dynamite. Energy to, to de destroy. Energy to demonstrate God's presence with us to our neighbors, to our city, to our country. The sacrament of the Holy Eucharist brings transformation. It brings transformation. Be transformed. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Transformation. Don't be conformed. Don't conform yourself to this age, but be transformed. Transformation is the essential. It's the essential thing. Transformation is the, the thing that we embrace 
in our lives is that it's the thing that helps us to discover our true identity. Transformation is the thing that brings us into the light of Christ. Transformation is the thing that sets us on our journey, a radical journey, because it reaches the deepest roots of our brokenness, moving us to a place of freedom, of communion with the Blessed Trinity. We come into the place of grace, allowing God to touch our brokenness tonight. And brothers and sisters, when we, we receive the Eucharist in faith, the sacrament has a tremendous power, the Holy Spirit to radically transform our lives. Just let him do it. Let him touch you. Let him transform you. It's not a matter of just, you know, just watch and see. It's but it's taste and see. Let it just open and receive. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, celebrate it worthily in faith. The sacraments confer the grace that they signify. They are efficacious because in them Christ himself is at work in your life. It's efficacious. It, it does something. It's working. It has the capacity to heal our brokenness, to restore our identity, to empower us to share in Christ's relentless mission of love. That's what we're talking about when we talk about the power of the Blessed Sacrament. Brothers and sisters, I just want to remind you tonight that this is the ultimate. It's the ultimate gift of the Catholic Church. It's the ultimate gift of the Catholic Church. Jesus, our healer, is a life-changing encounter with God, is love. When we, when we pray, touch me, heal me, what we're asking for is a life-changing encounter with the God who is love. The sacrament plays the most fundamental role in our life. The sacrament is the source of our healing our restoration. The sacrament it defines our identity in Christ. The sacrament empowers us, gives us direction, it sets us on a mission. This, this sacrament allows us to receive peace. It seals us. We can say, Father, the Father's love is the way they, they bring, that brings healing not only to ourselves, but also to our families and our communities. It brings healing to our families and our communities. I really need you to, to, to really believe that. When I say that the Father's love, Jesus' love, brings not only healing and hope and peace and blessing to you, but, but it's, it, it, I mean, I need you to believe this. What, what's going to happen tonight? You can become a vessel, a vessel of the, the river of life. You can be a, become a vessel of, of hope. You can become a vessel of grace. And, and the, the miracle of, of, of the sacrament tonight will be that the, the love and the mercy and the grace and the favor of God will just, it's just, it's going to move. It's going to flow. It's going to flow through all of us. If we allow, if we allow ourselves to decrease and we allow the Holy Spirit just to increase in our lives. Amen. Uh, I pray that you're ready for that. Brothers and sisters, when we, when we begin to adore him, when we begin to adore the sacrament, when we begin to adore the Holy Eucharist, our face, I need you to listen to this with your heart. When we adore, when we come into the adoration, 
the adoration of the blessed sacrament when we adore him when we adore the sacrament of the holy eucharist our faces are unveiled we begin to take off our masks we begin to allow jesus to see us for who we really are we begin to let jesus see see us we begin to be seen by god we reflect god's glory as we adore him the glory of god is the manifest presence of God. When God begins to manifest in your life, when he shows up, when he comes in a real felt way. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, all of us gazing with unveiled faces on the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. Wow, I want you to think about that. I'm gonna say it again. That's according to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. All of us, as we adore God, as we adore him, as we gaze with unveiled faces, I said unveiled faces, just as you are, just you and him, uh, open, open, open and ready to receive, face to face, face the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord is here. Being transformed into the same image from glory to glory to glory. Our beloved Pope Francis puts it like this. He refers to Jesus as the face of the Father's mercy. What does mercy look like? This is what mercy looks like. Jesus, Jesus, the face of the Father's mercy. Seeing straight through the pretenses, straight through the images, straight through the titles, straight through everything that you brought with you. He looks past your faults and finds your needs, seeing straight through it all. Jesus expresses the depths of our, of our hearts. So we can say today, we can say today, Jesus, at this moment, we commit our, our lives to you. We can say today, Jesus, we have come into this place and we, we consent to your presence. We consent to your presence to come in. We can say, we open up to you and say, come on in, G. Everybody say, come on in, Jesus. You are the Lord of my life. You are the Lord I of surrender my life. all to you to now. I surrender all including to you now. my understanding. Including my understanding of how life is. Of how life is. And the, my lack of understanding. And my lack of understanding. Of how life should be. Of how life should be. We exalt your greatness. We exalt your greatness. For you are made for us. For you are made for us. We bow down. We kneel before you today, Lord. Our, you are our maker. Let us come to you. Let us come with an open heart. Let us come 
Let us come. Let us come to you, Lord. We offer all of who we are. Hungry, hungry, hungry and thirsty for your touch. You do. 
Yeshua, Yeshua, highest praise, highest praise, the highest praise, highest praise, highest praise, sing to Jesus. The highest praise, don't be scared. The highest praise, lift up in worship, lift your worship. Highest singing praise. is praying twice, sing. remember that. Highest praise. sing loud with us, sing loud for Jesus. Highest praise, highest praise. The highest praise Sing to Jesus Highest praise The highest praise Jesus, Jesus Highest praise The highest praise High pray to Jesus. Just say his name. If you struggle right now, say his name. Jesus. Jesus, because his name has power. His name can tear down all of the walls we have inside of us. His name can break chains. And everything belongs to him. Everything belongs to Jesus. 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 Tell Jesus what's on your heart and let him change you. And like Deacon said, believe that he will change you. He will change you. With God, all things are possible. Don't try to think that something's not going to work. Everything is possible in Jesus' almighty name. And as Catholics, we have the grace and the and, and the joy and the gift of his sacred presence here in this place. We are so lucky, so, so lucky. We adore you, Lord Jesus Christ, my Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus es el Señor. Jesus es el Señor. Jesus is Lord. Jesus, you're my Lord and my God. As Thomas said in the Bible, my Lord and my God. If you are struggling to make Jesus your Lord and your God, you have another chance tonight, tomorrow, and the rest of your life. Make him your everything. Make him your everything. Don't make anything else above him. Only Jesus. Solo Jesus. Only Jesus. Todo este mi Cristo por él y para él. Todo este mi Cristo por él y para él. Todo este mi Cristo por él y para él. Este mi Cristo por él y para él. 
siempre amé. Por siempre amé. A Él sea la gloria. A Él sea la gloria. A Él sea la gloria.
to you be the glory to you be the glory to you be the glory forever amen Forever, amen. Forever, amen. Forever, amen. Por siempre, amén. Por siempre, amén. Por siempre, amén. Por siempre, Jesus for being here with us. What a privilege it is to have you here. Mm. Thank you. We love you, Lord Jesus, because you love us so much more. We're so unworthy, but we thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love. It's so good. It's so sweet. It's so healing. It's so powerful. It is so mighty. It's, it's home. The lover of my soul, Lord Jesus. Lover of all of our souls, all these beautiful souls you created. That there is no flaw in any of us because we are made in God's image. And everything God makes is absolutely perfect. So there is no flaw here. No matter how you look, no matter how you speak, no matter how you think. Creation of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for making perfect souls that are made to adore you here in adoration. Spirit Lord, we ask that flow like a mighty river. Let it flow like a mighty river in me and the hearts that are here in the ground that we walk on and in the spirit that you leave behind lord thank you for giving us your holy spirit thank you for letting us feel your presence how can i not praise you while you are here in front of us how can i kneel and not praise you and praise you in your holy name and your holy presence lord in a loud voice, I praise your holy name, Jesus, 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 glory, glory, glory.
Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God, true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God, true man. Blessed be the name Jesus. Blessed be the name Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus. Blessed be Jesus. In the most holy sacrament of the altar. In the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God. Blessed be the great Mother of God. Mary most holy. Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be her, blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Alleluia. 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 Da 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 da
In the name of Jesus, we sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I declare and I decree, I prophesy power. I prophesy power. I prophesy that the power of Almighty God is upon you to walk in victory. To walk in victory, no limits. No limits on your life. God has removed the limits off of your life. God has removed the limitations. All things are possible in your life. There is victory. I prophesy victory. I prophesy joy. I prophesy miracles. Today, as we leave this place, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 By the power of God. 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 By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of Jesus. There's miracles working tonight. Miracles. Testimonies. Testimonies coming forth. In the name of Jesus. Declare the miracles. Declare, declare the testimonies. Declare it by the word. But we are healed by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful night that you have given us. Definitely is better than being in a Michael Jackson concert, Lord Jesus Christ. And the best part is that we can do this every day. Thanks to our faith. Thanks to our Catholic faith, oh Lord Jesus Christ. We can come in your home. It's always open for us, oh Lord Jesus. And we cannot leave tonight without thanking you and saying in unity, praying that, that beautiful prayer that you taught us. And I want all of you, my brothers and my sisters, to join me to, to conclude our night with, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And to you, o Blessed Mother, thank you. Thank you for your yes. Without you, we wouldn't have our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. So we want to give you not only one rose tonight, but we want to give you all the roses of the whole garden by saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God is good? And all the time? Amen. How are you guys feeling? Amen. Better than how we came in, right? Amen. I'm definitely feeling recharged. I know. This is like our, our gas tank every Thursday. So oh, thank you so much for coming. Um, like I said, it was a beautiful night plan. I know we always say it's by us, but it's really not by us. It's by our Lord Jesus Christ. He just makes things happen. You know, we plan one way, and then everything just goes 360 with our Lord Jesus Christ. And um, I really, really love our, our uh, Blessed Sacrament Nights. I hope you do, too. This is the reason why I love tonight more than all the other nights that we have for, for you guys. Um, and if we're still alive, if we are still alive, I really hope you guys can take that opportunity to come to join us every night, but especially when we have the Blessed Sacrament. It's a different experience. Um, I know, like I said, you know, our beauty of our beautiful church is that we can go and visit our, our Lord Jesus Christ any day, any time. The church is always open, but it just gets a different feeling when we're all united together, you know, praying together, asking our Lord Jesus Christ to unite in force. So with that said, I am going to pass the, the microphone to our brother, Walter, because I believe he has some announcements. For those watching, um, we do, actually, I'm going to bring up Jesse right now. Uh, I know he has a concert coming up with Heaven Sound, and I, will, I don't have all the details, so, so he can invite us. Yeah, there's uh, two upcoming events happening, you guys, or family events. One is happening with Latidos, um, which is a band uh, at their parish. Uh, so reach out to me, and I'll give you that flyer. It's a family-free event. Danny Rees is going to be on, in the house. Heaven Sounds going to be in the house. And, of course, the band Latidos. And so that's going to happen September 21st. It's a Saturday. It's coming up if you need any information. And, of course, we have our big event hosted by El Sembrador Ministries, a.k.a. The Soar Ministries. It's called CDJ. Who has heard of CDJ? Raise your hand. Awesome. Congreso de Jovenes is a big youth con congress. Uh, it's hosted once a year. Heaven Sound's going to be there performing music along with other groups. And so this is taking place September 28th and 29th, the end of this upcoming month. And so we invite you guys to not only come, but bring your youth, bring your kids, bring your brothers and sisters, bring them all because they're going to have a metanoia at CDJ. God bless you. Thank you, Brother Jesse. And to add to that, so we're LA is a ministry of Esna, and we will be there fundraising and you know come to the table if you're around the in in the, in the event come to the table say hi and you know hang out with us for a bit right and you might meet uh, Heaven Sound there as well so thank you guys we're gonna.